As AI advances and becomes more widespread, numerous global guidelines have emerged, including the EU AI Act. This Act positions the EU as a leader in AI regulation, potentially setting the global gold standard. To determine if your product is regulated by the AI Act, first check if it fits the EU's definition of AI. Simply put, the AI Act defines AI as a machine-based system that can act autonomously, adapt after setup, and perform tasks like predicting, creating content, suggesting or making decisions based on given data. It can impact both real life and digital environments. The second step is to understand the AI Act's scope. The Act applies to providers within or outside the EU using AI systems or general-purpose AI models, deployers of AI systems located in the EU, and AI providers from third countries whose AI outputs are used in the EU. The third step is to understand the risk classification system. The AI Act categorizes AI systems into several risk categories based on their potential impact on health, safety and fundamental rights. Unacceptable risk systems are prohibited as they're considered harmful and incompatible with EU values. These include systems using subliminal techniques or social scoring, biometric categorization of natural persons based on biometric data, and real-time remote biometric identification in publicly accessible spaces by law enforcement. High-risk systems, which could impact health, safety or fundamental rights, must undergo conformity assessments. This includes systems used in biometric identification, critical infrastructure, law enforcement and border management. Limited risk systems like chatbots and deepfakes have compliance requirements focused on transparency, such as disclosing AI-generated content. Minimal risk systems like video games and spam filters entail no obligations, but are encouraged to follow a code of conduct. Stay informed, keep track of implementation dates and any updates to the AI Act.